Uh, hi everyone. Uh, let's start with the, the TypeScript. So in the TypeScript, in the previous video, uh, we were talking about the fundamentals and the basic types. Now let's talk about the interface uh, in the TypeScript. So interface is the same. Uh, interface, interface name, and we are defining the properties that this interface can have the color and the function. It can have also have a function as a, a property. So now this interface is, uh, this is another interface where one interface can extend another interface. So here what I'm doing, this is the another interface which is extending the uh, the figura and the linear. So interface can extend uh, one another. So here I have another property and all the other properties are already extended in this interface. Okay, moving to uh, TypeScript classes. So TypeScript classes uh, on, on top of these are actually something on top of ESX classes. ESX classes we already created. Now we will be adding the type safety in those classes. So uh, something like this. We'll try to help uh, here in this code. So this is my class, class animal. So here by default, whatever you are declaring, that is the public. Public uh, constructor is also public. Public constructor. Okay. And here, whatever you are passing as an argument in the constructor or declaring a variable inside the class, all you can de declare the types. You have to declare the type of them. Like, uh, say hi is a string property, right? So you can initialize the say hi property here also in this. Is of type string. Okay, this is how you can initialize the, the values from the constructor. Okay, and then you can use them in your class. So this is the basic ES6 class and what the for the type safety, what we are done, we have declared the types, we have declared the types of uh, the argument which we are passing in the constructor. And this function, right, this is not returning anything. So let's add a type safety here, return the void from here. It's not returning anything. If it is returning something like return the same argument which we are passing, then now this will break, right? Then you need to return the number because the passed argument is a number. Okay, so this is the basic uh, way of uh, adding the type safety for the ES6 class. Now we will talk about a uh, most important thing is the access modifier in the class public, protected, private. How we can uh, protect our variables, protect our functions uh, in the ES6 class definition. Okay, you can extend the, the class, that is the very basic syntax. Class, another class extends, uh, like this is the getter class which can extend the animal. Okay, and it is having this, and we already have the super which is calling the uh, parent class constructor, and this is the method which is again. Uh, will be returning a number right so this is where we have extended one class is extending another class this is the example on top of that okay now extending to that type two classes where uh, one class extending another class now we we will be talking about uh, the the access modifiers okay before that how we are creating the object of the class this getter uh, here is the getter is a variable and it is having the object of the animal class this is another variable which is having the object of this another class and then you can call the methods okay access modifiers which can be public private product right so we are declaring a variable so what do you think about these variables we have declared are these public okay so these constructor can be a public these all variables you can declare them as a public in the constructor you can also also specify the private uh, or public. So here what I'm doing in this public constructor of this class, I'm passing the variable as a public. So it can be accessible, right? Access modifier private. You can also declare the variable as a private. So this variable cannot be accessed outside directly by an, an object. So this is important aspect. So here private, uh, I'm declaring a variable as a private and we do these lot of things uh, while we write the code of 
Angular using TypeScript and ESX. So we have created this uh, private variable. So this variable can be accessed only inside this function. So you cannot access this variable outside. Uh, you cannot access this variable directly from the object. Okay. For getting this value, you need to call this method or you need to write a getter and setter method like uh, public get. Uh, so what it will return? It will return the number. It is a string, right? So here we are returning string. Right. So this method you need to call from outside while uh, from the object. These are known static methods. So you need to create an object of the class and then call these methods. Right. The protected. You can also declare a variable protected uh, which will be extendable by the, the child class of this. I mean somebody will be extending this animal class. They can access this protected variable. So these concepts are similar to whatever we have seen in object oriented wherever we are declaring classes class extending another class interface extending another interface class implementing the interface uh, uh, child class is calling the parent class method with the super child class uh, constructor is calling the parent class constructor with the super all these are some kind of same relevant concepts because now we have a classes so we can get the benefit of it right so you can see if we are creating the private variable then we have to create the getter and setters so which we i have done just uh, now you can create uh, the private and getter and setter get numbre and here it is returning string and this is the private so you cannot access it directly so you need to get provide a getter and setter methods All right. okay like get and setter you have defined for the private property and you can also have a setter method so you can add the validations and this is just setting the values for it okay static properties uh, this is another thing that you can also declare the static properties in your class so this is like class animal here i'm declaring some static properties like static uh, law longitude uh, minimize 5 so you can also access the static property directly from the class name so whatever the static property you are declaring you don't need to access them with the object you can access them with the class name animal dot longitude minima like this okay and everywhere you can use the same way and uh, even outside why well, you don't need to create an object to access this okay here I have the protected methods and private variables. So I'm having the same getter and setter methods to access that. You can also create an abstract class, which is actually the concept of pure object oriented programming. And the abstract class can have methods with the partial definition. This is the static, private, protected. This is the abstract class, abstract method without definition. This is the public method with definition. This is getter and setter. So whatever the extending, whatever the class extending this animal class, then that class need to define this uh, particular method which doesn't have a definition in this class abstract is just uh, another form of interface in object oriented one okay here we have a getter and setter for this private property and this is the protected methods which can be inherited by the subclass of the animal class okay this is all about uh, everything about this uh, here we are actually extending this and we have defined both the methods, extended both the methods from the abstract class. This ghetto is extending the abstract animal class. Okay. And here we have defined override the definition of mover and redefined this method. Okay. TypeScript modules, uh, we already are uh, creating the TypeScript modules under the namespace. So, and while exporting them, uh, once we create a module, then we need to import that module. So module import will be like this. So here uh, we created a module, right? Export class ghetto. So the consider this, this is inside some module. So create animal.ts and here we are exporting everything. Exporting this animal, exporting this ghetto from ghetto, exporting this from this file. So somewhere else we can import all these modules definitions like this. Right now here we are importing this definition from this animal 
so actually what we did we created one single file and we exported everything from that file so while importing we don't need to import these uh, modules these classes from different different files we can get it from a single file animal animal right so this we do in angular we create index.ts and we define all the exports from that folder now somewhere else while we are importing them we just import the the common definition import all everything from that index.ts that's it okay so this is all about uh, the second part of the typescript we haven't done practice of code here but in the coming videos we will do a lot of practice around it